Canada is cheap to live in if you are smart with your money. It's been six years that I'm living here, and initially I have also spent thousands of dollars until I learned some cheap money hacks, some amazing websites, and free tools that help me manage my finances every single month. On the screen right now, you can see all the expenses that you can expect in 2024 if you're coming to Canada. And let me say this out loud: you don't need a lot of money to have a fun life here until you're not buying stuff just to impress people you don't even like. Now let's jump straight in and break down each of these expenses. Number one on the list and the most expensive thing would be the rent. If you own a house, then it's going to be mortgage for you. Currently, I'm living in a two bedroom apartment in the downtown Ottawa and I pay $1,700 every single month. That includes the indoor parking as well. But I will be honest, I'm living here for the past two years. If you're going to rent the same place today, it's going to cost around $1,900 to $2,000. But I personally feel Compared to Vancouver, Brampton, Toronto, living in a downtown with every single thing close by, it's still a very amazing deal. And if you want to learn more about it, we have shown a full house tour in this video. So you can go check it out and see what all things are included in this. And how did I found this property using two websites? Number one would be rentals.ca and second was Facebook Marketplace. Second on the expenses list is the car expenses. Currently, I own a CRV 2015, which I bought last year. And the total expense of this car comes down to 700 to 800 dollars now let's break down into three parts number one would be the loan amount which is 450 dollars second is the insurance that i pay 250 dollars now it also depends which city you're living in as i said if you're living in Brampton or toronto it's gonna be a little more pricey and lastly is the gas prices which comes down to 100 to 120 dollars every single month and i'll be honest i only got this car because i'm splitting it with my brother if i was the only one owning this car then i would definitely been going for a smaller car next thing on the expensive list would be groceries and yes it has definitely gone up in the past couple of years initially i was paying very less amount when i just arrived in 2017 but right now both of us are paying between 350 to 400 dollars every single month on gross because we try to eat at home most of the time which is definitely a good thing if you're trying to save money next up on the list is wi-fi plus phone I am currently with Rogers and initially the prices was $200 in which I was getting three things. My iPhone 13, my phone bill and the home Wi-Fi, which I brought it down to $140 because I negotiated with them. So you can also do that. It's an actually a hack. A lot of people don't negotiate the price. Next up would be the gym, which I pay $75 every single month. And honestly, it is on a higher end. I have seen many other places which you can find between 20 to 50 dollars every single month but the only reason why i opted for this gym is because of their hot yoga classes which is actually amazing if you are dealing with your migraine or cervical just like me. and with rent i forgot to mention the hydro prices which is not included in our rent and i pay an additional 50 dollars every single month for that a lot of places also comes with including this prices for us it wasn't included and it all comes down to how much electricity we are using every single month but i have never seen it going above 50 dollars it always stays between 45 to 50 dollars every single month which again will be divided into two people now all these expenses were the fixed cost that has to be there if you are coming to live here right but now let's talk about the cost that is totally a want which means things like eating out shopping going for movies and stuff like that and personally for me i keep a budget of 50 dollars every single week for that which comes down to 200 dollars to 220 dollars every single month because hey if you're living so far away from our family we have to make sure that we are living our best life either as well and we are having fun too so make sure you keep a budget of that as well now these are all the expenses that we talked about now let's talk about a bonus hack that you should definitely consider if you want to save 60 to 70 percent on your flight tickets anywhere around the world and i've been able to do it by using this american express card that has been considered as one of the best card in 2023 for your daily use now see anyways we are using credit cards on our daily basis and the points that we collect with the bank card it's not as lucrative as compared to this amazing card because it helps you to save on your flight tickets when you're booking it and for this card i paid 12 dollars a month which is absolutely nothing if you're saving such a big amount and if you want to learn more about this card you can definitely check out the link in the description below which i've added it for you now if you're going to add all these expenses up it's going to come down to 3200 dollars every single month currently in 2024 which will be split in two and that's going to be 16 to 1700 dollars every single month for me which is absolutely feasible if you're having a decent job after you graduate but if you're on a minimum wage then definitely it's going to be a little challenging to save up and make your emergency fund so that's it for today guys these are all the expenses that you can expect in 2024 if you're coming to canada if you have any more questions feel free to let me know in the comments below and if you have stayed here till now make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next week